What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, me doing the event boss battle parade, and actually going over the Barugia boss that we have here today guys, and what we're going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys the two turn strategy to actually clear this fight, and uh, with very little uh, effort really as well, so if you guys enjoy videos like this man, definitely make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, I know Grand Cross hasn't been too interesting as of late guys, but if you enjoyed the video man, definitely make sure to hit that like button, you know, drop the sub if you haven't already, and with that out of the way man let's hop in and let's actually go over the event boss parade and uh, how to actually beat um the barusia boss specifically here today so in today's video guys we're using the uh, red sr slater we got the green regular arthur we have uh ultimate essenor as well and then blue roxy now in terms of characters you can swap out here ultimate essenor and roxy are definitely pretty flexible i'd say um, Roxy is nice to have because she just does a ton of damage and uh, if you guys don't know her holy relic is also really nice too because she gains crit uh, critical damage and basic stats for every human ally on the battlefield so she's going to be really nice. Um, I have ultimate Escanor here but you can definitely run the new Escanor like the UR Escanor um, or you could even run the uh, LR Escanor you know they have a bunch of options here you could do other LR Escanor you could do uh, you know ultimate uh, or the uh, UR Escanor I mean and then you can do the one Escanor as well in today's video though guys I'll do the uh, ultimate Escanor here and then we do also have the green uh, regular Arthur the reason why we're rocking him is because in his passive here he increases all his damage dealt by 35% and also decreases damage taken by 35% as well um, so that's just gonna be you know free uh, damage reduction damage dealt and uh, yeah it's gonna help us do a little bit more damage um, so just having that there available is gonna be pretty nice and then with the SR Slater here, guys, he's actually the main unit of this team. And the main reason why is because of the way his passive works against his boss. So for his passive here, he's going to decrease all enemies' critical resistance by the value of the hero's critical chance at the start of the battle. And this is going to apply when entering the battle, which obviously Slater is going to be on field because this is a 4v4 setting. Now, in terms of the card set here, guys, we're going to be rocking the human attack card set. Um, this one was actually available in the wish draw event so if you guys actually did get this one it's really good three percent attack for uh, each applicable ally on the battlefield that's either going to be humans or unknown and we have a full human team right here guys so uh yeah man and then in terms of gear attacker damage roxy attacker damage ultimate essenor attacker damage arthur or hp defense is fine and then specifically with slater here the important thing about his gear is you have to have these crit chance rolls guys this is going to be very very important because remember with this passive here that we mentioned the higher the uh, critical uh, chance of the hero the more we're going to decrease recruit resistance of the enemy so the more crit chance we have the better and that's why we're actually rocking this set here where i have uh, our gear that i've actually re-rolled for critical chance um so yeah you definitely want to be doing that for your slater if you haven't built this gear already definitely do it um this is definitely unnecessary right here but these four pieces right here um are necessary just to make sure you get the critical chance re-rolls right here and it doesn't have to be like you are or anything like that just make like common or our gear guys and you'll be completely fine um but yeah that's going to be the setup right there guys let's hop in and let's show you guys a demo run of what it looks like Alrighty, guys we are loading into the barusha fight here here he is it's been a minute um, but yeah, Barucha is pretty easy, um, pretty self-explanatory as well, as long as you're running this exact setup I got, or if you have other variants in terms of DPSs for like Escanor or Roxy, but as long as you bring Slayer pretty much, guys, you're going to have a very easy time with it. Um, so what we're going to do off the rip is I'm just going to waste the uh, Arthur single target there. I'm going to do Slayer single target, and I actually am going to go for the Roxy single target as well, and then just rip the AoE right there. Now, the idea is here, guys, that we're getting the damage from Roxy. As you can see, you see uh, Roxy and uh, Slater right there are getting the damage off. We do the Roxy single target, and we're actually just going to one-bang Barugia on that first phase right there. Very, very straightforward. Now, hopping into the second phase here, whatever top deck you get with uh, any of the characters, if you do get Roxy, just feel free to use that. I will actually start using the cards that we still own in our hand, though. So, we'll do the Escanor card, we'll do the Roxy AoE, then we'll do the Slater, then we'll do the last Roxy card, and that's actually going to finish him off right there, guys, considering, you know, what we're able to do with these single targets and the extra damage we get from Roxy as well. So, boom, boom, boom. And then the single target Slater is going to finish him off. So very straightforward in terms of the setup here, guys, if you're rocking it. Um, just make sure that whenever you get single target top decks, feel free to use those. Because single targets alongside Roxy are obviously going to boost her damage. And that's kind of what you're going for. So let's actually do a different variant here, guys, where I'll try maybe, you know, UR Escanor or even LR Escanor. And we'll see what we're able to do with that variant. 
All right, guys, so I changed up the team a little bit. This is more so a, uh, you know, not, not necessarily whale-friendly team, but if you have these festival characters and we're rocking this setup, I'm actually going to give this team a try here. So we actually swapped out the other Arthur for Chaos Arthur, and we also swapped out Escanor for the new UR Escanor. Now, I am actually curious to see how well this team is going to perform, considering, you know, green attribute characters seems like they don't do a lot of damage. So I'm curious to see if Escanor is still able to do a lot or if he's just kind of a bad recommendation anyway, guys. So we're going to hop in here. Here, and let's see what this team's able to do against the Barugia boss fight. All right, guys, we are loading into the Barugia boss fight again. Let's actually try this and see if the ultimate Escanor is going to be good on it, or the sorry, the UR Escanor. Um, they're both you know, uh, you know, ultimate Escanor like the evolution, but um, uh, yeah, no, this is the UR ultimate Escanor, so. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do here guys on the turn one is we're just gonna waste the Slater card I am gonna do the single target Esnor. I'm curious to see how much is gonna do and it will follow up with the AoEs here Let's see what this damage is doing. So we get the initial hit off We do ask a single target here and he's gonna still do a, a solid amount of damage right there Which is good. So you definitely can run Esnor. Look at that man. I mean it was pretty much double damage right there um, so yeah, you definitely can run URS Nori. He seems pretty solid for this as well. Um, Arthur's going to get the cleanse there for Chaos Control. We're just going to start spamming some single targets here. And because we didn't use the Roxy single target from last time, we're able to use it. And Arthur is dealing good damage on this as well. So we do get that off. We get the extra damage with him. And then the Roxy single target. So yeah, this is going to be another variant you're able to run, man. Just pretty much any human um, alongside Roxy and Slater, guys, is going to be really, really strong. And I think you'll do... Uh, you know pretty well in this regardless of uh what human dps's you guys bring um so we'll do one more variant here guys i'll do another free to play uh friendly variant maybe we'll swap out roxy as well and i'll try a team without roxy and see if we're able to do it but yeah i mean should be pretty straightforward though in terms of what we're able to do let's actually swap teams here and we'll try one last team here guys all right guys so one last team i do want to try here is going to be a kizuna you know slater variant here where instead of actually running roxy because let's say you don't have roxy let's say you run kizuna slater and then two other human dps's i'm bringing back ultimate esnor here but we're actually going to slot in transcendent bond and see how well this team's able to perform with this i know there is two festivals here guys but transcendent bond's kind of old at this point and i do also think ultimate esnor being free through the uh starter rush banner is attainable for a lot of players so obviously there's better options again as i mentioned earlier in the video roxy you know you are Escanor. you even have lr Escanor as well as another option but yeah you have a ton of other options guys but let's just rock this setup and let's see what this team's able to do all right guys we're hopping into the barugia fight for the last time for this video let's see what this team's able to do with kizuna now for for our team we're actually going to get attack related stat up so because we don't have roxy we can still sub in kizuna here for that attack related stat increase and i think we'll still do a good chunk of damage here as well guys so what we can do so what we can do here guys i'll do the kizuna attack card then the slater and then with the double bond right there and i think with all those debuffs that we're able to get off on barugia we'll do a ton of damage here guys so there we go we get the attack related up oh okay i guess uh what's his name's not able to get the the damage off i guess yeah um so there we go man so now we do the uh, single targets with bond and he is gonna live okay so this is not gonna be uh, a guaranteed two turn unless i did a different attack setup right there i think i probably could have gotten it um but yeah we are gonna take a little bit of damage on this phase then but that's completely fine i mean we have kizuna here again with another skill and we can actually cleanse that as well and then we also did block effect uh the barugia right there so what i'll do is i'll do this attack card right here um and then we'll get off the buffs which is going to be really good and then we'll do the bond card and then i'll just waste this card right there and then next phase we're going to go kind of crazy with Escanor and bond as well and i think with that we're going to get a, a pretty good setup here guys for uh actually clearing the fight so there we go we do the bond single target that should actually finish him off right there yeah i mean 400k we you guys can see like the damage will start to ramp up once you do get that kizuna buff and all these other buffs as well and so now we can just start kind of going crazy so i'll do the bond card bond card Askinor, Askinor, and that's a three turn team setup i mean it probably could have been two if i you know did the cards a little bit better um but yeah guys that is going to be the uh the barugia fight right there man pretty straightforward in terms of what you're able to do guys and you shouldn't have too many issues going throughout as long as you're bringing these you know very strong single target human dps's i think you guys will be completely fine as long as you have that slater gear as well um so that's gonna be it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me uh definitely make sure to you know hit that like button and subscribe guys and uh yeah we'll definitely have more videos like this as long as there's event bosses and all that so i appreciate all the support and we'll see you guys on the next video